All right, I'm back with character specialist MJ Lalo, and right now we're talking about character warm-ups. There we go. All okay. right. So in this one, basically I tell people to use their arm like it's it, that you're going to go in a circle. And when you have the arm down here, this is going to be your lowest note that you can sing. The whole thing is not to start right away in your head, I don't have a low note. Yes, you do. Duh. So you just go, ah. <sighs> It's not supposed to be pretty. It's just a <laughs> low thing, right? Even if you go, uh, right? And then you're going to swing your arm up and you're going to sort of go, uh, you're, you're going to let then, the, you know, these two muscles that are down here, we're going to stretch them. So now they're thicker, just like on a guitar, when they're lower, and we're going to go up. So we're going to go, oh. Oh. Oh, you go faster. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> However you want to do it. But what that does is, it again, it's just like being at the gym, picking a weight up and going, you know, like this with it. So these guys, are, they're learning to stretch. So, you, you know, when people say, well, I can't go that high. Well, you haven't stretched it. You've been talking in this, like in this range most of your life, whether it's, I'm really angry with you. I'll have a cup of coffee. It's the same note, right? So... What you're doing when you do that is then you're, you're stretching this. So I've had men say, no, I can't, I can't possibly go up high. And I go, let's just try it. So we start really low. And I, I usually use a really heavy duty, you know, kind of character, like in a game or something. And I just say, so feel like if you want to use your fists or something, and you're just really, oh, I shall take your land. <laughs> That's the most one. And I want him to have that kind of gesture. And then I go, now we're going to go up a little high. So we're not in the gut. Now we're going to move a little bit up in the chest. Uh, we're going to put a little bit. And now that's the person you're talking to. No, I shall have my revenge. Okay, it's a little bit higher now, right? Still not your voice. Now we're going to go to your voice. What do you have for lunch? I asked, what do you have for lunch? Um, let's see, I had an apple and a peanut butter sandwich. Okay, so there I am up there. Now I'm going to go back into the adenoids, right? Back in, uh, back in here. It's a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, uh, well, you guys, it's really good to see you all here at the swimming pool. You know, so whatever, I mean, I'll come up with something I wanted to say, or they can say stuff back to me as well. And then I'll say, now, let's go into the nose. This is your nasal placement, kind of a nerdy thing. You might like, kind of, I, I don't know what I did with my two terabyte. Huh, it's here somewhere, right? <laughs> um, so then you have that character up in here. And a lot of people can't do that one. They feel like because you're using these, this muscle here, going, like, see how that's pulled in? So you have to use that muscle, which a lot of people don't use. It's, a, it's kind of the bunny muscle, isn't it? Because bunnies, they, they're really. <laughs> so uh, sometimes what you can do is um, you, you can pull your lips out, and that also makes you more nerdy, too. It gives you a different thing because you can't totally pronounce. And you've got the, and you've got, and that also helps when you pull these forward, this comes in. So that's what happens in, in the body. So if you're going, I just, some people, I just, I don't know how to get to the nose. And it's like, well, and you could also start by just pushing it in and then seeing what it would take for you to develop that muscle in your nose, not nah, to go like that. Then you go up into your eyes. And then so you're going to go up a little higher. And the first character is very breathy. And she's up there floating, you know, floating in the clouds. And everybody can say things. Oh, it's really pretty up here. Oh, look, I can see Jupiter. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, right? But now, that's a gentle, higher voice, right? But then I said, what if she's really pissed off? It's the same placement, but now I'm pissed off. Because a lot of time in animation, right, a character could go from, yeah, it's really, wait! Right, there's that contrast in there. Mm -hmm. So, and again, you could say that hurt your voice. No, not if I'm warmed up, not if I'm like, ah, you know, the voice is already stretched up there. So, the thing is to take it easy when you first do that, but you know, have some fun with it and try and feel like if you went from just a really sweet character who's up in the clouds, I just having such a great time, do that one, you know, that's pissed <laughs> off, then. You know, you're just going to go back and forth on it a little bit. And That's awesome. I mean, it's so, like, it just with what we were doing right now, just, I mean, the importance of warming up, the obvious physicality that's required for creating different character voices. And I love um, just the mindset of not of being 
like not being afraid to have fun and experimenting. Cause like you said, you get people who are like, I can't do this right off the bat. You're only hurting yourself because you haven't tried yet and you haven't started off from a safe place or like to kind of build those, literally build those muscles and expand your character repertoire in that way. And I love just watching you, how like your body informed your voice. Like yeah. if you had your hand at your abdomen, you spoke from the abdomen. If you had your hands up here, you spoke from the head. And doing whatever you can to build that kinesthetic, that physical awareness before, mm -hmm. and like eventually you might need to touch your nose to be able to get a nasal character. But eventually you'll just know how to do that naturally and then and just unconsciously. And so that's huge. I mean, there's so much to unpack from this. And if you guys are interested in more character creation tips, you should definitely check out MJ's class coming up in two weeks, starting up on April 14th, and then uh, two more times on the 21st and 28th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern. You're going to have to stand up even in your chair. I don't that's care. That's right. Wear your gym clothes because you're going to get off your butt. So, but definitely come join us and stick around because we've got more character tips coming up for you soon. Bye, guys.